Merging multiple tracks together is a great way to organize your projects, especially if you've got a project where there's just a ton of tracks and it can get quite overwhelming. It's also a great way to force yourself to commit to mixed decisions, which does help your tracks progress further. I know that as a musician, I can get really caught up in all of the finite details when it comes to making a song and they just don't really matter as much as I think they do in the grand scheme of things. So anything to force me into making these decisions and sticking with them is just a bonus. Now let's get into how to merge tracks in Reaper. So we have our project open here and before doing anything else I'd recommend saving a new version of the project so that you have the option to go back in case for whatever reason you do need to go back. It kind of goes against what I said in the intro but it's always a great choice to have a backup plan so I'm just going to save this and I'll just name it something like the song name plus merged. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a folder track and to do this just go to the bottom of the track list here and double click and a new track will pop up and just name that something like for example I'm gonna put all of my impacts into one folder. So now what I'm gonna do is grab all the tracks that I want to be in this folder track in this case the impacts and put them underneath and if I drag out the impacts track then press this button in the bottom left it's a folder icon when you hover over it it goes to a plus icon and this just makes your track a folder track so if i press it you can see that there's now an indentation here for the tracks here and if i press the down arrow twice in the top left corner it goes to a diagonal one and then it goes to this so it's all compacted into that one track so now I have a group of tracks, which are all my impacts. And as you can imagine, you just do this for every single group of elements that you want to merge into a single track. So whether this is having your kick and your kick sample merged together, your high tom samples. If we go up a bit, I've got claps, I've got keys, I've got vocals. So you can imagine how much you can actually merge down and this it's a bit of a messy project and I chose this on purpose because you could see how this could really benefit from merging some tracks down. It is messy. So the next step into merging your tracks is to render them through the folder. So just right click on the folder containing the elements that you want to merge. And then if you go down here, you'll see an option for render slash freeze tracks. And then within this function, you've got some options. You can do mono, stereo, multi-channel stems, or you can freeze it. But in this case, we want to render it out. We want to commit to this merge. So as you can see from the waveforms, all of these tracks are in stereo. So I'm going to click on render tracks to stereo stem tracks. And once you click that, you get this window at the top rendering to file. And it's just doing what it says it's rendering the whole thing you just gotta wait for it to finish i'm afraid <laughs> there we go and it does actually leave you your track and so here what's popped up is the rendered track with all of the impacts from below in one track and you can also see that it's automatically muted the folder that contains all of the original tracks and obviously one of the points of doing this is to clean up your project so the next step is to delete this folder and the tracks within it obviously we saved this as a new version at the beginning so you can always go back if there are any problems but I'm going to commit to it. I'm just going to right click and press remove tracks. And there we go. Four tracks are now into one. It's a little bit cleaner. Obviously, there's a lot more work to do in this one, but you can definitely see how this is going to quickly make your project that much easier to manage and also force you to commit to those mixed decisions or those production arrangement decisions. So another essential audio editing tool in Reaper that I'm going to show you is gluing together audio or MIDI items. And as you can see, I've got one here where it only pops up a couple of times. So I want to glue these two together because I want to be able to move them around as one and edit them as one rather than having to edit them separately. This is also a great tool for vocal tracks where you've got multiple takes that have been comped together or anything where you've just done multiple takes and there's bits and pieces of each take throughout the track. And to do this, you just right click and drag across so that this area is going over all of the items that you want to glue together. And with these items highlighted, right click on one of them, it doesn't matter which one, and then go to about the middle of this box and click glue items. And it's literally as simple as that. So all it's done is added an empty audio item in between and I can move this around as one now. So I don't have to worry about adjusting each item as I need to. 
Obviously, in this case, it's only two items. It's not a crazy amount, but you can imagine how with vocals, this could become really time consuming. So being able to glue them all together into just one item, you can move it around as you want and not have to faff around with the little details. Thanks for watching. You should have quite a firm understanding now on how to merge tracks in Reaper. And I also really hope that this is going to help you finish more music. I know that for me, I really do struggle with not getting bogged down by all the details and just thinking about the song as a whole rather than does this particular element sound as good as it can because no one's going to hear that particular element on its own they're going to hear the whole song how does the whole song sound it's just a really great way to force yourself into moving on from a specific part and looking at the song as a whole if you enjoyed this video then please consider liking subscribing and clicking that notifications bell so that you never miss a video in the future and please leave a comment in the section below we reply to them all and we really love hearing about what you have to say whether it's your experience regarding this or whether it's a question that you might have. For more in-depth tutorials, tips and techniques, and much more, check out homemusicmaker.com and also have a look at our forum at forum.homemusicmaker.com to have a chat with some like-minded people. Both of these links will be in the description below as well as all of our social media links. Thanks once again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.